Hey, you want to talk about bridges? Why? I don't want to talk about bridges. I admit, I'm gonna have to climb that water tower. This thing sure looks tall when you look at it up close. But why do they gotta build it up so high anyway? The height gives them the necessary pressure to pump the water out. Hmm. Also, putting it in a spot where anyone could easily access it would only create more problems. Problems? In a certain Missouri town, they built the water tower low enough that a person could easily climb up to it. And that's exactly where a mass murderer decided to hide the bodies of all his victims. The water tower was so low to the ground that he could even climb up to it while carrying a dead body on his back. Incidentally, they ended up finding a total of 43 bodies in there. Whoa. But the part that truly shocked Zack and I wasn't the number of bodies, Patty. What? It was the fact that over the six months from the first murder to when the case was solved, that whole time, the townspeople had been drinking the water. Nope. <laughs> Agent York, <laughs> look, I think we can climb up from there. Let's go. But, Patty, I was just getting to the good part. Corpse, <laughs> corpse water. <laughs> okay, so I didn't want to... I was letting the cutscene play, so I didn't want to talk about it, but... What? I was about to be like, what? You put salt in your coffee? But you put it in the coffee grounds. Okay. I have to try that. I, don't know, I love salt. Let's climb. <laughs> Of course, they're not going to actually let you climb the ladder. So That's too much work. So this is our town. Looking down on it from here, it's hard to imagine any bad stuff ever happened at all. Listen carefully, Patricia. You just leave Melvin to me. I promise I'll take care of things. You're grown up. You're more of an adult than anyone else in this town, I guarantee it. Corpse tea. But that doesn't mean you have to suffer through everything without ever saying a word about it. Where's Just my remember that, okay? Where's my beard? Oh no. It's alive. Zach, it looks like the holy Allah hasn't been sucking up water properly. No wonder the shower in our hotel room felt so weak. Hmm. Patty, who manages this water tower? This is Lucare. You should know the answer to that by now. The Clarks. Willie. Judging from their current situation, I don't think they'll be able to give us a timely response. Yeah. Do you know where the water comes from? Probably Isaac Lake. That settles it. Let's fill the Holy Allah. And solve this problem ourselves. I knew you were gonna say that, Agent York. What, what are we gonna do? Is this is this science? This science. Oh no! Sorry to hear that war. Head to Isaac Lake. All right, cool, so we gotta head to the lake. <laughs> All right. Wait, where the heck is the lake at? Oh, this thing? Um. So I guess I just skateboard there, I just not really close. Let's go, Patty. Keep up. Why do you think the Clarksons chose a dragonfly for their family crest? In some European countries, dragonflies are called devil's needles, and folklore suggests that they fly around sewing up the mouths of children who don't do as they're told. Uh, so I just make a right up here? I'm so fast. 
Hey, wanna talk about bridges? No, I don't wanna talk about bridges. Get this ramp. <laughs> hey, dude. Do you wanna talk about corpse water? Isaac Lake. Another one? Isaac Lake? That's the name of the former head of the Clarkson family. Okay, never wait, 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 dude, did you actually have something to say? What's up? I thought you were just making a joke because, uh, because York said, hey, Zach. So I thought you were just making a joke. What's up? When he retired, they built this lake to commemorate his career. That's why it's called Isaac Lake. They wanted people to remember the power of the Clarkson family every time they used their water, huh? You sure don't miss a bead. The water level's higher than I expected. <clears throat> They probably haven't been out here to check on it since Lise was murdered. So we're gonna fix it? I bet that's where the water gets sucked up into the water tower. Chat was showing up on stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Jump scares. Mr. Alligator. Never thought I'd have to use you to fight a real alligator. Just what does that skeletal gentleman have in mind for us, Zack? Yeah, it's all good, right, dude? It's, it should be working fine. Defeat the alligators and inspect the pump. <laughs> Save, please. I, I've killed a few alligators already. This one looks a little bigger, though. There's a lot of them, okay. <laughs> That's what we're missing, it's not. That's a dinosaur. <laughs> Baby Godzilla. Hope I have enough bullets. Pick up my good. Oh no, I'm killing the whole family. <laughs> I feel like those, that one just keeps me spawning. Maybe I just need to go. Nice. Great. Actually, this is great for stamp. Stamp. Maybe I should, uh, better heal. I think I probably just need to run to the thingy. I don't think I actually kill these guys. When do you get a better gun? So believe it or not, Henry, this one, this game only has, it only has one gun. But you can do, you can make upgrades to the gun. Uh, which I probably have enough materials to make it better now. I need to go, I, I need to go do some upgrades. They can make a lot of upgrades to the town. Stay back. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh no. Oh, 
Open the door, Patty. <laughs> now, Patty. Good thing we got this small gate here. That's so, pretty amazing. what other movies have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? What? Talk about that question again? What did I tell you? In this country, all dialogues. Okay, okay, I'll answer it. Um, I need to think of a movie that Schwarzenegger wasn't in. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay, I got one. It's a film about people who travel around the world in 80 days. I think it was a remake of an older one. They went to a bunch of different countries, and there was tons of CG, so it was fun to watch. It starred some kung fu guy and a British man. Sorry, but they didn't ask your beloved Arnold S. <laughs> to be in this one. Around the World in 80 Days, 2004, directed mm. by Frank Karachi. Starring Jackie Chan and Steve Coogan. Oh, Unfortunately, Jackie Patty, Chan. it appears that you didn't watch this film closely enough. I did too. Then you must have been far too distracted. He's in it, Patty. Oh. In it? Who is? Arnold's Wait, in it. No, it can't be. That's right. Arnold S. is in that movie. You're lying. There's no way. I mean, he was already governor of California by the time that movie came out. You're exactly right. In October of 2003, he became the new governor of California. I but remember he was that. still able to appear in the film since it was in a small enough capacity not to interfere with his governing duties. You can find him in the Istanbul segment. What? I sort of remember the Istanbul part, but the prince? The prince with the crazy hairdo? That's right. He played Prince Hoppy, a romantic with long hair, skilled at telling stories and playing the guitar. He was so in character. Even <laughs> I didn't recognize him at first glance. No Flawless way. Flawless makeup, hairstyling, costume design, and impeccable acting. I was speechless. I believe that entering the political world only allowed him to further develop his acting repertoire. His acting was always so realistic and full of presence. But then, he went and added elaborate technique on top of it. Perfection. Patty, I'm now convinced that you've been seduced by his charm without even realizing it. That's why you've been unconsciously seeking out films that he appears in. You don't need to feel embarrassed. It's a perfectly natural phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get back to the investigation. Come on, please. No, let's, You're right, Patty. let's talk about some movies some this more. There's no time for idle chatter. We have two important goals now. Solving this case and finding your daddy. Let's get back to work. No more chit-chat. You heard her, Zach. We need you to focus as well. Yeah, Zach. Come on. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be so long. Oh, that sound. I don't know. I guess that was a, that had to be like a one of those dinosaurs, right? Coming out the water. That was a great sound, though. He was in it. He was in the movie. Do you believe it? I know, Palm Desmond. Uh, uh, uh. uh no, B. <sighs> okay, Zach. Let's head back to the Holy Allah. I just did it automatically. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Henry. Uh, I have not heard anything about Predator yet in this game. We need to confirm with our own eyes that we've completed the skeletal gentleman's oracle. Return to the water tower. All right, so now we need to go back to the water tower. So what did we do? We just fixed. We just fixed it just by turning. Just by turning this. That's it. That's easy. Right, so let's go back over there. How hyped it was for a pay of Mario. <laughs> was, I was looking forward to it. I don't know if I was hyped like I was for, say, 
a daily premonition too, or like a lucky two. Do, do. Right, so, We've been uh, in this town for longer than we originally planned, haven't we? Let me go back over here. chose a dragonfly for their family. Fix my skateboard. What's wrong with it? Oh, whoa, it's on 5%. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Thank you, Dora. Uh, I'll fix it after this. I didn't know it was so low. I wonder if I could new learn any new tricks, Aussie. I'll see if I learn any new tricks when I go I gotta go back to the skateboard lady to uh, fix my board anyways. So let's see what happens here first. Zach, the Holy Allah is filling up. Looks like we'll be able to take a warm, invigorating shower tonight. Nice. Oh yeah, improved gun. Patty, are you okay? Um, no. Not really. Worried about your parents? Well, of course I am. My mom is sick, you know, and she got even worse starting about a year ago. She used to be so beautiful, but now she looks like a completely different person. She can't even get up out of her own bed no more. I'm sorry to hear that. I already hurt you once in the past, and now it looks like I've gone and done it again. No, I know Mama's illness ain't your fault, Agent York. It's more about Daddy. He... He what? Nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> Hey! Y'all get down from there right now! Hey, it's Danny. I said get down here, goddammit! <laughs> hmm. The heir to the Clarkson legacy has come for us, Zach. And he doesn't sound very composed. Listen to Danny's drunk ramblings. All right. So, why is Patty with York? Uh, in the beginning of the game. They met each other. They had to interact. You right, little snake. This is private property, goddammit. Uh, I guess you really do want to throw down with the Clarkson. <laughs> uh, get out of here. I'm right here, man. I never gave you permission. Yeah, you think you can just walk all over Does us? Does she have makeup on? Hey, you hear me? I could arrest you for drunk driving, but I simply haven't got the time. I love the music. Classic. Uh, so beginning of the game, Hasu, uh, they met each other, had an interaction. And through that, York promised to keep Patty away from all the evils in the world. And also Patty is the daughter of the sheriff, so she knows the town. So she wanted to follow York around and help him out with the investigation. And something like that. What? What did you say? <clears throat> Ever since you got here, my whole family. And now they're all dead. You're Satan. You came here to destroy the Clarksons. You destroyed them. Satan? Not quite, Daniel. I'm just an agent carrying out a mission in accordance with federal law. On the contrary, I came to put a stop to all these problems. You might even consider thanking me for it. Wait, what? <laughs> federal law. 
<laughs> He's laughing it up. <laughs> You hear that? Bastard wants me to thank him. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I look forward to seeing Adult Patty. I'm going to guess we see her eventually. Uh, I lost everything. My treasure. <laughs> At least my old baby girl. I... I I don't know. So yeah, his his wife was killed, for anyone that's confused. You reap what you sow. God damn it. Whether you like it or not, you're the new heir to the Clarkson legacy. You could rebuild their empire, or resign it to the ravages of time. Do whatever you like. But you'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power and march around like you own this town. You need to accept that and prepare to survive. Okay, completed. Oh yeah, sorry, the, the, yeah, the dad's dead now too. <sighs> Zack, it's no use. The skeletal gentleman is a strict one, that's for sure. We're going to have to figure out what the giant lady's finger is if we want to continue on with this oracle. Okay. Lady's finger. Hmm, lady's, lady's fingers, finger. hands. Arms. I'm at a loss, Zack. The only thing that comes to mind is a certain lady in glasses who displayed her middle finger to a truck driver. What? The student driver who was driving the car that Leslie Nielsen jumped into in order to chase down a criminal. 1988, directed by <laughs> David Zucker, The Naked Gun. I haven't seen that one. That car chase was terrific. It felt like we were watching one of our own car chases from the real world. That director must have gotten some advice from actual police officers. Otherwise, there's no way he would have been able to film such a realistic chase. Hey, Agent York, can I say something? Hold on, hold on, Patty. If you're looking for ladies' fingers, you know that's another name for okra, right? What's okra again? Another name for okra? Yeah, okra's pretty common here in Louisiana, so most people know about its other name. Huh. Okra. My talented Slimy. assistant That's... strikes again. It's a vegetable? Okay. Slimy? Oh. Hi, good night, B. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great night. Hope you feel better. You solved the oracle instead of me. Let's hurry over to the okra farm at once, then and find the biggest piece of okra while we're at it. Why are you guys hating on Patty? Dude, Patty's dope. She looks cool. Hey, Agent York. The key word is giant, so it must be rather large. I'll bet it looks positively grotesque, Zack. And just imagine the stickiness. <laughs> Oof. I think I'll refrain from taking a bite. Hey, Agent York. Our town doesn't have an okra farm. Oh no. No? Okra farm? Matilda! Relax. Just follow me. I reckon I know where we're supposed to go. It's pretty long. I think we we're like at least past halfway through. Uh, from what I've read, it's like a 20 some hour game. Uh, it'll probably take me a little longer because of the side quest that I do and stuff. But yeah. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Wait, so now I'm following Patty. But yeah, I hope you're doing good, Matilda. And thanks everyone that is watching me play through this, uh, <laughs> this crazy game. I know it's definitely, definitely not for everyone. So thanks everyone that does hang out. I don't know, I... <laughs> I enjoy it too much, but yeah. Do, 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 do. I know the dang whiskers, Hasu. We don't we don't count those hours. What's up, what's up, Majin? Hey, Agent York! Where are you going? Stay close to me or I'm not gonna show you where your next stop is. Uh, so the father was killed by 
Um, the daughter. There's another. I'm not sure if you met her, uh, Henry. Professor R. Yeah, so Professor R was the daughter that kind of like ran away from town, but came back after a while. Uh, so she blew up um, herself along with her dad. Yes, Henry, yeah. She's the one that killed the other lady too. She wanted to get rid of the Clarkson bloodline Not to restart that way, it. Agent York. Stay focused, jeez. So she kind of like wanted to restart the Clarkson bloodline or something like that. I've never so I've never played any of the short or human games. But those are alien ones, right? What do you even like? What even type of gameplay are those games? Mm -hmm. But yeah, after daily premonition, I don't know. I'm gonna guess we can't be too far off from uh, finishing this game. I can't imagine there'd be too too much left. Um, it's been a while, so I definitely want to play like some Spelunky, some of the classic stuff like Spelunky and Isaac. And I definitely want to play more Neon Abyss. That game's pretty cool. So we might just chill out with some of that stuff for a little while. Last thing I played of Fallout, I played a little bit of Fallout 4, uh, but I didn't play too much. Maybe like 10, 15 hours or so. But that was like way back when it first released. Yeah. Patty, just tell me where we're going. I'll meet you there. I can't keep running. I have a certain amount of stamina, Patty. I can't keep running. Farm supply. Ah, oh, thanks, <laughs> Matilda. But yeah, I definitely know, like. Uh, I know it's a it's a weird it's a weird one. A janky one too. Boop, 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 boop. This is the giant lady's finger. Okra boy. That's okra? It looks like a it looks like a banana. He's kind of like the town mascot. Okra boy. You're right. No matter how you look at him, he really is a giant lady's finger. But Patty, there's no okra farm in this town, is there? That's right. Then why did they choose Okra for the town mascot? Good question. He's been here for as long as I can remember. Daddy said he remembers Okra Boy being around when he was a kid, too. Okay. The plot thickens. Does it? Hmm. Zack, doesn't it look like he's pointing at something? Let's follow that white glove. <laughs> What is he pointing at? Oh, it's in the secret is in this one building. Patty, that's it. You guys ready? 
Between six and two, twenty-three hundred. There you go. The killer's inside this building. Hmm. So this used to be the control device for the drawbridge, but it looks like its insides have been replaced with something else. Oh yeah, I remember Daddy telling me about this. This drawbridge hasn't been used for decades now. <laughs> I don't know what's inside this building. So this the we'll control find out. room doesn't work. And the power's been disconnected. Hmm? Oh no. What? A password that requires three letters? Looks that way. What's this then? There's an H on the top, bottom, and left sides of the leftmost panel. What? Patty, trial and error won't get us anywhere. There are 26 letters in the alphabet, which makes for 17,576 different combinations if we use three of them. Okay. Let's try something more efficient. I know that. I was just fiddling with it. So, what do you want to try, Agent York? Just leave this to Zack and I. <laughs> Car. <laughs> Figure out what the three letters on the drawbridge control panel really mean? How do you do that? Zack, this password may look complicated at first glance, but you needn't worry. This is a chemical formula. A challenge from Professor R. The H that's tattooed all over the leftmost panel stands for hydrogen. In other words, the leftmost panel represents the molecule you get when three hydrogen atoms merge. All we need to do is figure out which chemicals go in the remaining panel. Try reviewing what we know. We spoke to the 17 comrades who saw the birth of New Orleans, filled the Holy Allah, then found the giant lady's finger pointing toward the entrance to the Forbidden. After we met the 17 comrades, we encountered that ominous red tree. There was sap dripping <laughs> out from the red tree's trunk, wasn't there? That must have been a metaphor for wood vinegar. What? Then, in order to fill the holy Allah, we went to the reservoir. The water tower represents a distillator, and the water represents coolant. Wood vinegar, distillator, and water, Zach. Figured it out yet? The chemical formula <laughs> is CH3OH, methanol. It's got to be C-O-H, <laughs> starting from the left in that order. Methanol is highly flammable so weird. and used as the base ingredient in formaldehyde. This has Professor R's name written all over it. That oracle really sent us on a roundabout mission this time. It almost feels like we're playing a video game here. Talk about stupid. Ah, video games are lame. Oh, man. What? Zach, start at the left window, then put in C, O, and H. Wait, the answer is methanol. I see. O. Zach, start at the yes, left window. Yes, I know, window, dude. Give me a chance. Then put in C, O, and H. The answer is methanol. It's just so weird that, like, <laughs> they go through that whole Zach, thing. start at the left window. Like, just to, put in just to tell you the answer. All right. That must be the entrance to the forbidden, Zack. <laughs> it just seems you so... You can't touch that! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Smarty pants scientist said no. Mm. Avery Smith. Draw bridge don't work no more. The machine's junk. Yup. <laughs> You're right, Avery, but don't worry. I got permission to touch it. <sighs> permission? Agent York, you got permission? That's right. That's right. Permission from the President of the United States. Oh, man. The 
President. Oh, he's a smarty pants. Okay. I didn't <laughs> see nothing. <laughs> yup. <sighs> Hey, Agent York, are you really going in there? Yes, I have to, for the sake of the investigation. I'm getting kind of scared. That's a rare word to hear coming from your mouth, Patty. I don't see much in there aside from some overgrown weeds, do you? Yeah, it just looks like more of the same. No, that's not it. I'm not scared of the weeds. I'm scared of what you'll find, Agent York. Uh, York is just really good at his job, dude. He's a genius. You don't need to worry, Patty. You're my precious assistant, remember? I promise I'll protect you, no matter what happens. Step inside the forbidden. Uh... I think you left. We went to the... We fixed the water tower. We went to the water tower. Uh, Danny confronted us. We told him to chill out. Then we solved, we solved this puzzle, and now we're gonna go inside this locked area. Uh, so he didn't really miss that too much. We just had to figure out what this, that this okra was pointing at. This building. Then York is a genius, so he figured out this puzzle. Now we're gonna go inside here, which is previously locked. This Patty, is crazy. the truth is. When I first saw Okra Boy, I remembered something horrific. Oh no. The most evil monster I've ever seen, in fact. A monster? Oh yes. A demon incarnate who plunged New York City into mortal fear. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Oh man, I think I've actually seen this Ghostbusters. Marshmallow? Ghostbusters, 1984, directed by Ivan Reitman. Wow, an actual movie I've actually seen. Once a long time ago. Now that's a film that was filled to the brim with bona fide horror. A true masterpiece that boasted an honest depiction of just how frightening a real ghost would be. Even if you watched it now, I'm sure it would still chill you to the bone. <laughs> really? First night I watched it, I was too afraid to go to the bathroom alone. So I made Zach come with me. Ah! The, the door. It's windy. <laughs> yes, I do. Head to the control cabin. That's what it sounds like, yeah. I know, I haven't seen Ghostbusters in many, many years. I wish my beard would come back. Oh no, it's getting creepy. Oh man, Patty's still here too. Whoa. Patty, watch out! Keep going this way. Patty, okay? What was that? Okay. Patty, run! Oh, I gotta kill! Oh no, I gotta kill all the enemies. The red lines are blocking me. Oh no, I think I gotta kill all the enemies. Yeah, we, we, we got a new enemy, yeah. Finally. Wait, what is that on the ground? What are those? Oh, there's a new, a third, a third new enemy. They're like little trolley ladies. Stay back. Oh, fudge. Major step down? Hey, Agent. I don't know. I don't want to say major yet, but 
I, I'm still loving it. But I can understand. It's hard. It's hard to beat that first one. Wait, what happened? Wait, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> oh, the ghost ladies are naked? I wasn't even paying attention. Did you notice anything? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Close your eyes, guys. Oh, I mean, it's hot, finally. <laughs> Thanks, Matilda. I'm blind to that stuff, so I didn't even see. All right, please let me save. Whoa, what's all this? Zach, I think we found a laboratory. What are they doing in here? My toolbox. See, I need to grab some more, uh... I need to grab some more bullets. Ooh, I got some hot dogs. I should put on my suntan lotion. Plenty of anti nodes. Oh no. Alright, good thing do good thing Dune is here. This is a science lab, so it'll be able to tell us exactly what's going on here. What is that? We have a brain, a shoe, and a potato. Nice looking bed. Look at all this science stuff. Oh, I get to I get to inspect. Dude, what's going on in here? A journal. A research log. No, it looks more like a journal. Hmm. Look, Zach. This belonged to Lena Doman. That's Professor R, hmm. right? A professor to the very end. This book is filled with all sorts of detailed notes. This fancy device. Hmm. She studied abroad during school. Most likely, in order to get as far away from her father's prejudice as possible. <laughs> Abroad, she studied chemistry and fire dynamics, then cultivated the groundwork for yeah. Saint Rouge. A weird carrot. Huh. If what's written in this journal is to be believed, Saint Rouge is a naturally derived substance. That must mean it's something akin to ayahuasca, the hallucinogen found in the Amazon region. Hmm. But Amazon. Saint Rouge wasn't actually produced here. It appears that a special environment is necessary to summon the red demon. Zach, look at this. It's her. No, him. It says that when Lena was still known as Lenny, he once fell in love with a woman. He fell in love with his older sister. 
That matches up with what PJ mentioned just before he died. And apparently, they had a daughter. The Clarkson's family tree is far more complicated than I could have imagined. You can say right. that again. And here it says that the Clarkson's older daughter later fell in love with someone in town and got married. Then okay. she must still be somewhere in this town. Hey, Patty. Did you know about all this? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know. What's up, Gypsy? How's it going? So, yeah, I think... Oh, man. So, the older daughter is Patty's mom. I'm pretty sure, I think... The older daughter is Patty's mom, and she's married to Melvin, I think. This entry is from right after Lenny became Lena. Zach, what could this mean? A salesman passing through town gave me an epiphany that changed my life. She didn't create San Rouge until after she met this person. And from that point onward, she started fanatically worshipping someone. She also ceases to mention anything more about her older sister. And the word goddess of fertility starts appearing everywhere. It's your boy, Kaysen! It's your boy, Kaysen! It's your boy, Kaysen, coming, coming through towns. Selling his seeds. Yeah, I hope you're doing good, uh, Gypsy. Oh, man. Tubbs again, yep. final entry written just before she headed to the Clarkson's house no one can stop my plan not even me my only worry now is P I only pray the fool King can stop him Patty Zach it looks like we've uncovered yet another new character who's the fool King this is starting to read like a badly written tragedy and P, it appears that Lena's worried about whether or not the Fool King will be able to stop our investigation and successfully murder this P character. No. P, Philip, or Professor? Come on, come on, York. No. It can't be. Patty. Oh. Oh, fudge. Whew. No, that wasn't no, Patty. Don't kill him! Oh, Melvin. I bet Melvin knocked us out. Oh, man. Oh. What's going on? They just left me there? What? I'm so confused. Wasn't Patty still there? I better save it. <laughs> I know, I guess, okay, so this knocked me out. I guess maybe they just took Patty. I thought Patty was still standing next to me when I woke up, but I guess not. Oh, it's this guy. Oh. Hi there, Hoondun. Long time no see. Pineapples. They're pretty hmm. good. This is definitely your simplest oracle by far. <laughs> All right. Patty. Now it all makes sense. Zach, we need to hurry back to the hotel and put all this in order. Yeah, the hotel. Just a... Because it's pineapple... Hotel, hotel pineapple, right? <laughs> all right, so we're going to go back to York's room. Dude, so much is happening. Okay. So I'm going to assume that was Melvin that knocked me out and took Patty with him. So now we got to go find Patty. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know, dude. Blame Twitch. So who's the kid? Patty. Is that what you mean? I think. 
Yeah, we, so we already knew Patty was a Clarkson. Uh, York doesn't know that yet in this time. But we know from future York that Patty is a Clarkson. We just didn't know, like, whose kid she was yet. All right. Let's go to, uh... Oh, jeez. Frame rate. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, if it lets us, let's go to the voodoo shop. Perfect time, that's scary, boy. Uh, yeah, I guess so, uh, Dune. Uh, this is on Switch, uh, Gypsy. Gotta make sure I catch him. Right, I think it might be out of world time. Ah, oh, yeah, my new suit. We found many new truths hidden in Lena Doman's journal, and some of them went far beyond our wildest dreams. To review, review the case. First, we should clear up who PJ's first daughter is. She was a complete mystery until now, but after reading Lena's journal, I became convinced of something. Yo, what's up, Invan? Yes, I'm having having a lot of fun. Uh, we fully upgraded my skateboard to have max speed, so we're flying now. And uh, she still lives somewhere in this town. And we're making our way through this game. Lena's journal stated that this woman married someone from the same town. Hey, yeah, I hope you're doing good. Good to see you again. Did you figure it out yet, Zach? Who is P.J. Clarkson's first daughter? Yes, Melvin's beloved wife and the most beautiful woman in town. Candy. Candy. She's P.J. Clarkson's first daughter, which means that just like Galena, Candy also carries his blood. Now we know why Melvin said that Galena was a beauty who could attract a lot of attention. Candy had no interest in the inheritance and was also sexually liberated. That must be why PJ ended up coddling Lenny so much. Candy is supposedly sick, but she's now become a key person in our case. She must be why Melvin's gone missing. All right. Melvin's beloved wife, Candy, committed a transgression in her past. Zach, what <laughs> was it? Welcome back, Matilda. That's right. A child oh. that we know very well. We never heard any mention of her biological father anywhere in town, despite how much these country folk love to spread rumors. I knew there had to be some secret connected to her birth, but I never thought it'd be something like this. It's beyond anything I ever could have imagined, Zach. Next up is the Fool King, Zach. <laughs> All you need to do is pick out the person who acted most like a fool when we encountered them. Uh, we, we had to find out uh invite earlier earlier i jumped completely over a river that was fun honestly the answer is clear and it's a painful one to accept isn't it zach melvin he's got to be the fool king the way he's acted from the moment he located lisa's body up to now the way galena was murdered silenced without any resistance Always the cop. Yeah. His discord with the Clarksons, the words PJ left behind, and the engineer boot prints we saw at the discovery site. Yeah, Melvin's missing with uh with his wife. Yeah. That happened at the towards the end of the last stream, I think. It feels like the missing puzzle pieces are all falling into place now. But why did he decide to take part in Lena's plan? According to Patricia, he seemed to be avoiding Lena. There's no way he actually could have believed that the goddess of fertility would come and save the town. Oh, so that's it, Melvin. Wait, what? As you nursed Candy, you too became corrupted by Saint Rouge. Oh. Drugs rob people of their judgment. They slowly but surely eat away at their users. Stay away from drugs, kids. 
That's most likely the reason it took Lena so long to enact her plan. I don't know what to say, Zack. This is absolutely unbearable. Lena fell in love with her older sister Candy, and the two of them had intercourse. But afterwards, Lena realized that there was a disparity between her body and her mind, and descended into suffering. Finally, Lena left home and decided to live on as Professor R. Meanwhile, Candy fell in love with Melvin, which led to her leaving home as well. Okay. I could only guess that Lena and Candy's relationship continued after they left home. Then, their strange love transformed into something else that bound them together in a powerful new way. Lena must have periodically delivered San Rouge to Candy. Spooky swamp fog? As offerings to the goddess of fertility. It's hard to keep going with this, Zack. You know where it's all leading, don't you? Yes. If Lena's plan was to kill off every last Clarkson aside from her goddess... They're gonna go after Patty! Then her next target is PJ's last living descendant. She's in danger. We need to hurry. Hey, where are they at, though? Zack. The climax is upon us. Is it, guys? Whoever hit me in that control room sure wasn't holding back. The blow was so devastating that I passed out instantly. There aren't many people who could do that. Hmm. Avery is? Oh, they hit me right in my head, so my memories are fuzzy. Not my finest hour, to say the least. Now, what should we do next? First, we're going to need to refresh ourselves a little. Take a shower, got it. Sunbathing, Zach. Hey, what? <laughs> Let's go bask in some liquid sunshine that's just as hot as the sun out there. Okay. Perfect. Man, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? My voodoo mega buster? Uh, yeah, a little bit, uh, Envi. I have range and firing speed up. I don't understand... One and two? I don't understand the... Are these both on the same gun? Or do I have... I don't have two different guns, do I? So that, this part confuses me a little bit, but... Yeah. Uh, so let's take a shower. Gotta get fresh. Oh, I have different. Sh oh, really? Huh. I'll have to pay attention next time I'm trying to use the gun. Oh, dude, I totally missed that. Okay, that makes sense, then. Wait, where do I have to go? There's only one drink that can refresh you right now. Wait, I gotta go Owl's Nest? So we'll check to see if we can fix it. Hello, Alexis. Yes, someone did quite the number on me. Must have given you one heck of a shiner. Well, let me get you some coffee so you can relax, honey. Yes, that's it, Alexis. Just what I was waiting for. Would it be possible to get an especially pungent cup, smoldering with all the heat of the southern sun? Coming right up!
Uh, hey. Whoa, 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 Sorry, just helping help out my dog. Oh, he's in the coffee. Zach, look. <laughs> no, Melvin. No. Lord, what are you trying to do? Wake the dead? What's wrong, honey? New York, we gotta go, man. We gotta go find him. Look at that. The coffee's pointing at that picture. Dude, that's amazing. Where is this boathouse located? Oh, my Lord, what's going on with you? Your poor voice is positively trembling. Just tell me, where is this boathouse located? Uh, there's lots of boathouses around these parts, honey. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, then, can you at least tell me when this photo was taken? Looks to me like it was taken during the Clarks and Campbell wedding party when what? PJ married his ex-wife, Audrey. There was a building this tall in town back then? Oh, you know what? That must be the cold storage warehouse. That big billboard on the roof is the Clarksons, see? I bet you'd be able to get a great view of all the boathouses in the swamp from up there. Thank you. That's all the info I need. Would you mind if I borrowed this? Shoot, of course not, honey. <laughs> hey, borrowed what? Thanks for your help. And keep Ooh. the change. <gasps> oh, my lord. Ten bucks. <laughs> yes. I, lo <laughs> I love that they just put Miss Carpenter in there. Like, what? The picture? How do you get the picture out? It's like under the table. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tate. Don't spend it all in one place. Alright, so now we need to go to the warehouse, I think. There was like a good like year or two where I was into hockey and just rollerblading. And I just had my rollerblades on like all day. I'm running around outside on my roll blades and run inside the house to eat dinner and then run back outside. And then my mom would get mad that I'd come in with the roller blades. So I think I need to go inside here. Can I stand up? Yeah, I don't know if I can now. <laughs> That was a long time ago. That's when I was like a small teen or something. I'm gonna follow the mission marker. Oh, I need to go over here. Okay, yeah, now I think so for me, Tank. I think like a, a few years, maybe like five, ten years ago, I don't know, I put on some rollerblades. Like, how did I ever do this? That's a lot of work. The cabin is stay kind of like hunched. It's like my back hurts. Oh, Danny's here. Oh, it's you. Hmm. I, I reckon I owe you an apology for how I was acting before. I think I get what you meant now. You'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power. Well, those words woke me up. I need to get myself together or I'll s you save me. Oh, well, we saved him. <laughs> oh, wait, my beard is back. So, uh, thanks. Now, this is a surprise, Zach. <laughs> yeah, an alligator ate his, ha ate his arm, Matilda. Can a human being really turn themselves around this quickly? Hey, come on, don't say that. I was drunk, you know. 
I lost my baby girl, my wife, then my father-in-law. I, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I can't like I can't imagine trying to learn how to ski now. So yeah, I've never really even been in the snow, so I've never like skied or snow snowboarded. But yeah, I think I'm too old to do that stuff now. I'll try to learn how to do that stuff. I imagine, yeah, I'd just get injured. Blaming it all on someone else was the only way I knew how to cope. What are you here for, anyway? Thought you already investigated this place. I'd like to get your permission to climb up to the roof. What is that? Right up to that hideous sign there. Is it? Sorry. What is she wearing? Boxing gloves that are like crabs? Oh, is that all? Well, go on ahead. I know you're a genius agent. It's true. And if you need to go up there, then by all means. Danny, I'm not a genius. I'm a complete failure. I never even gave a single thought to PJ Clarkson's first daughter. I was practically oblivious the entire time. One thing I can't do, though, I can't swim. I never considered the possibility that Lena had a child either. And that night, misstep Matilda. cost us many sacrifices. Thanks for hanging out. Hope well, you have a good you night. Know all have about a good week. Now, right? Then just move on. You figured out that it was Galena who murdered Lise, and that Galena was being manipulated by Lena. You proved that my treasure wasn't evil after all. It may have cost us a lot of sacrifices, but that still makes you a genius agent. And that's how I know I can trust you. Now, I don't care if you're FBI. I'm still gonna come clean and say it. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Whoever killed my treasure is gonna pay. Oh, okay. I want to track him down, then kill him with my own hands. But I'm a Clarkson too. Oh, the music changed. So I made up my mind. All Clarkson's got a job to do. <laughs> That's a good point, Tay. Which one is it, Zack? Patricia must be in the boathouse we saw in that photograph. Along with Melvin and Candy, the goddess of fertility. What I saw at Alexis's restaurant, not only was my mind still reeling, but the oracle was also rather vague. But so what, Zack? We just need to find the same boathouse that we saw in that picture. There's got to be another singularity inside it. Zach, that's the boathouse. It's right there. It's right where the photograph was taken. But I have no idea how we're supposed to reach it. Just fly. Zach, it looks like we have no choice but to head <laughs> back to the starting line. Yeah, just Let's go and see... It. The one who fired the pistol at heaven. He should be able to transport us straight to that boathouse. Ah, uh, cool, yeah. Remember, his love for justice is so strong that he chased a poacher's boat all the way up the bayou. I'm sure he'll be happy to help us. Zach, stop and just imagine it for a moment. I don't know about happy. Chuck's face. Once he hears that poacher's boat is actually a shrine housing the goddess of fertility. <laughs> What's this? Least forever. Who left this message for her? Zach, you know what? I forgot all about our ten-foot giant. We still have a lot of work left to do in this town. <laughs> His walk? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what's stopping him from walking there either. Maybe maybe a gate. I mean between six and twenty one hundred. Right. Zach, there's the biggest man we've seen in town thus far. Let's talk to him just in case. Okay, talk to Avery again. 
Hello there, Avery. I need your help. Would you mind raising your arms up high like this for me? <laughs> Raise my arms? Like this? Thank you. That's perfect. Okay. It appears that even with your height, you'd have a tough time reaching a spot up that high. What if he was wearing, uh, what if he was on stilts? I love Lise. Yep. <laughs> oh no, poor Avery. But Lise got cold. Lise turned white. My, my poor sunlight wouldn't move no more. Avery, I understand how you feel. I'm sure that Lise does too. Really? Oh, yes. I guarantee it. Right now, I'm trying to eliminate the cause of her death, but I need your assistance. If you ever see a man who looks taller and stronger than you, I want you to let me know. Who could that be? I will. You bet I will. <laughs> it doesn't even sound real. Casey. Oh, yeah, it's Casey. Of course. Jason was a big dude. <laughs> Wait, Melvin's gonna morph into a demon? Never. <laughs> hey Zach, no nothing. Just felt like saying that. That's true. Oh, yeah, she did turn into drag fly. <laughs> well, I, I guess I don't actually need to hit this ramp. I can just, uh, I can just warp over there. But let me try the ramp one more time. itself is really loud though. Oh yeah, and I, uh, I'll, I'll fix them uh, after the stream. Hey, what's up, Chuck? Hello, Chuck. The time has finally come to catch that poacher's boat you spoke of. Oh, now he wants to catch the boat. Thought you FBI boys don't chase down boats. Ain't that what you said? Unless it's a terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our country, right? Did I say that? I guess I did. You're exactly right, Chuck. I discovered that boat does contain perpetrators who are potentially capable of overthrowing our country. Perpetrators who are deeply connected to a new drug called San Rouge. And you expect me to help you? Yes, I need your help. I see you got the balls to match just how big a goddamn prick you are. Poachers can fuck with my form all they want, but the moment drugs get involved, all of a sudden you're raring to go. Guess what? I don't give a shit. Yeah, tell him, Chuck. I can't solve this case without your help, Chuck. <laughs> you're just daring into the river? If you're angry about how I acted earlier, then please allow me to apologize. That's nice. I don't want no apology. Then how can I get you to trust me? You really don't know when to shut up, 
Do ya? Hmm. Are we gonna skip, skip As you rock? Can see, I'm busy here. So if you're done harassing me, then, uh... Chuck, that was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. How did you do that? Uh... Thanks? I don't know. The answer lies in his physical advantage. <laughs> what, are you, what are you throwing the rock over here for? The river's behind you. That's it, Zack. Your stance when you toss makes all the difference. Of course. I can't get over how beautiful his stance was. <laughs> Just what am I missing? What is he doing right there? Uh, what's up, Caleb? You like skipping stones? I love it. You know, I always trust a man who knows how to skip good. <laughs> See, the key to skipping is how close your arm is to the water when you throw. Okay. You also need accurate speed, an accurate wrist snap, and accurate timing when you let go. That's why short folk who stay low to the ground and keep a low profile like me can skip better. Hmm. And that's how I reckon I can trust a man who knows what skipping's all about. Got it? If you want my help, <laughs> you gotta impress me with your skipping. Oh no, how good do I have to do? Then I'll lend you my boat. Okay. Get a score of over five points? What? Five points? That's child's play. See me get double digits. Five points. Come on. You know who I am? That's nothing. Here we go. I'm about to get 15. Nine. Easy. GG. Hot damn! Woo wee! <laughs> You're a natural. That was flawless skipping, all right. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much, Dick, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. You got talent, boy. And you're humble, too. Thank you. Well, I did have a great teacher. That's what helped me to stay low. Yep. That's the key. Gotta keep low profile. Folks can learn a lot about life from stone skipping. Feller's gotta stay humble. Keep himself from getting all arrogant. Know what I mean? Okay, maestro. I trust you now. I'll take you into the swamp or wherever the hell else you wanna go. Wanna shove off now? Sure. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. Let's head over to my boat. Follow me, maestro. <laughs> uh. Now, let's, let's skip some more stones. I like this big, this big rock. Man, why did I get bad on that first one? I need to not get bad on the first one. What? Why is it bad? I'm not keeping a low profile. This one right here, this one's for you, Tank. This one's gonna be 15. With the chip. Dang it. Eleven. <laughs> I'm being too arrogant. I'm sorry. Let's go, Chuck.
It's all about doors. We gotta go round a bit to get to your boathouse. It ain't the safest route out there. So just be ready. Be ready for what? Zach, this is exhilarating. <laughs> it's like an amusement park ride, only better. <laughs> this is yet another reminder about just how vast and varied our homeland of America is. is this gonna be amazing? What is this? Oh boy. Your goal is to hit as many targets as possible and earn a high score. Alligators will also appear on the course and try to damage the boat. Take them out fast. Okay. Each course is different, so don't be a coward and try them all. Don't be a coward. Nailed it. Oh my goodness. So oh, I got it. It controls so badly. Like it moves so crazy. Oh yeah, it's a rail shooter. Oh, it moves so crazy. Where's the alligators at? Oh. I got like three out of four of them. Oh, I had to reload. Doing pretty good. Reload, stupid. Oh my god. This is pretty long. Oh, alligator time. All the targets. Yeah. All right. That's it. Just a bronze. That's worth it. At least a silver. Oh, I got the silver. GG. Yeah, I saw those charms. Yeah, just so you can buy charms that'll slow the boat. There's this one other one too. You. You're gonna have to walk, Mir. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> hey, you hear that wind a howling? No. That there's a storm coming. You better watch yourself out there. You hear? Oh yeah. And folks don't usually come round this end too much, so be careful. You got a weapon? You betcha. Just give me a holler if you need me to come get you. I do always trust a good skipper from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Tank. I appreciate all your help. <laughs> uh, stage five, wow. All right.
These beautiful bushes. I know it's about to get spooky. Crap. Zach. A deadly premonition. How do you feel about this one? He said the words. Honestly, I'm torn. I know the truth that awaits us here isn't one we want to accept. But we have to keep marching ahead. We're FBI special agents, remember? Mm -hmm. The United States Department of Justice has authorized us to deliver justice in their name. You know, sometimes I get to thinking, why did I ever decide to work in the justice sector? Okay. Um. Oh man, there's so many. Uh, there's a bunch of red targets. Oh yeah. So this is my second bullet. Okay. Cool. Oh fudge. I'm out of here. Wait. Right, get up. What happened? Let's go. <laughs> I can get on the skateboard out here? <laughs> Beautiful. Nothing can stop me now. I'm gonna ollie into these guys. Oh, wait, round by it. Oh, I got you. We're almost there. It's over here. I made it. I did it. I made it to the house. Run, York. Run. Zach, we've reached the final stage. Are you prepared for the truth? Wait, what? I don't think it's actually close to ending. Save Patricia and Melvin. Know where to save it? Not in this game, nothing, nothing's lacking. It's ten out of ten. Uh, so that's Candy, it's Patty's mom. She's sick. I love you. I'll do anything for you. I'll make your wish come true. What is happening? What is Melvin wearing? You stand before the goddess. Mind your manners. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't worship that deity. You always were a rude one. Patty. Patty, everything's all right now. Just come over to me. She can't hear you, York. Patricia's already in a trance. Outside voices can't reach her. You didn't. Saint Rouge? Oh no. Now what kind of fool do you take me for? She's the consecrated virgin. 
and virgins need to be pure. She won't be able to serve the goddess if she gets all corrupted. Now will she? And besides, she's got a resistance to the stuff. Might be due to the blood she inherited from her parents. Or might be San Rouge was designed that way on purpose. Not that it matters now, cause she's about to die. I wouldn't do that if I were you, York. Or did you forget who gave you Mr. Alligator to begin with? You think I'd hand you a weapon without any sort of safeguard in it? Oh no, this is straight out of a bad C movie, Melvin. <laughs> Call it what you want, York. But I'm the main character here, and you already played your part. Now that Candy's become the goddess, I will take her once more and claim my seat as the king who rules this town. Yes, I will be the one who reveals the Clarkson's legacy! Power isn't important to you, Melvin. All you care about is your loving family, remember? The right. man who won the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world. Melvin Woods. Now you missed quite a bit, still Kelly. stop this from happening. Just need to wake up, Melvin. <laughs> York, you really are a second-rate man. You're incapable of understanding how other folks feel. Lena was the one I loved. Candy's merely the symbol we use to restore the Clarkson's glory. The goddess of fertility is just an idol designed to guide our people down the proper path. I devoted everything I had to Lena. Hey, Patricia! Ah. What? Just, just go, yours? I was yours. obsessed with Lena ever since I was a kid. She lived in a big mansion and also had skin as white as snow. All I ever wanted was to be just like her. My friends were too close-minded to understand. Don't let the white man brainwash you, they said. But race was never a part of it for me. She was always far above that shit. A higher being who surpassed it all. And by the time I grew up, she already changed forms and abandoned her home. At first, I was so shocked. It felt like my dreams had been shattered before I ever got a chance to pursue her. But when I finally got a chance to meet her face to face, everything changed. I loved her female form with all my heart. The moment I saw her again, she completely possessed my soul. Patty. Hey, York. Patty, run. You know how they say God created man in his own image? That's what Lena is. She's God's finest creation. The perfection of the human race. She wasn't perfect in any way, Melvin. She was just another criminal who happened to be a bit smarter than most. <laughs> you never understand. Anywho, I decided to follow her plan. And so I became the one who supported her from the shadows working to fulfill her dream of restoring the Clarkson's glory. That's why I seduced Candy, married her, and kept giving her San Rouge whenever Lena told me to. Then, you know what happened? About one year ago, we finally saw a sign. A sign of the birth of the goddess of fertility. You mean she started growing horribly obese? Eight years. It fell long but also short somehow. I knew from the start that much blood would be spilled, but I had no other choice. It was the only way for me to make my beloved angel need me. So you murdered Galena too? Yeah, that didn't exactly go according to plan. Galena was supposed to kill Lise, and Lena was supposed to take Patricia's life. Then Lena and Galena were supposed to kill PJ and end their own lives. Filicide, patricide, and suicide. These three types of sacrifice were gonna complete the blood purge. But then you came to Tame. You, are you guys following? I'm such a pest, York. 
I loathe every fabric of your being. Always buzzing around us like a gnat, trying to upset our faith, but no more. I'm going to stop you right here, sacrifice my daughter, and complete Lena's plan once and for all. Shoot him, York. There may have been some hiccups in the plan, but the result won't change. After all, I'm her daddy. In the end, the goddess of fertility and her king will be the only ones left. We'll find a way to make do on our own. Hey, yo, haven't you been wondering why I'm talking so much about myself? Because this is the last stage of the game? And nope. I've just been waiting for this. Wait, what the bud. What? Soon she'll be reborn. What and the is? goddess of fertility will be among us. It all ends here. <laughs> Perfect. Got him. Patty. Are you all right? <sighs> Big brain. Die! She's fake. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, what's going on with the lady in the boat? She turned into a flower? Oh, man. What just happened? So Thunder hit the cabin? Oh, she's the right tree. I got you. I think, no, I think she is a tree. York, wake up. Where's York? He's knocked out somewhere? York saved the day. He is. He saved the day. Oh, wait, no. Daddy, you saved me? Telekinesis. That would be amazing, honey. Oh, there's York. Patty. 
Zack. I need you. Oh man. Give me strength. Oh, I didn't know he had this power. And Zack's going to bust out of him. Daddy? You <laughs> saved me? But why? You kept saying you were going to kill what? me. What is this? You so, should have let it happen. It's so weird. I'm just like picking the debris off. Daddy! I can't do it! Are you all right? Agent York, save my daddy! Get out of here! Yard, take my CLG! And run! No! I can't leave both of you here! Just go! No! I'm not leaving! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I... Send... I can't come back... To this world... We have to say goodbye here... I'll take your mama with me. It's time for you to start a new life, sweetie. One where you won't be shackled to your destiny. York. I've confessed my sins. I'm gonna die here. I know this isn't how you wanted things to go down. But she's innocent. My CLG is pure. Please. Take her and get out of here. No! No! I'm staying with you! Hurry, it's burning! Oh. <sighs> My daughter's in your hands now, York! Let's go, Patty. No! Let me go! Daddy! Mama! No! Yep. Oh. I'm sorry, CLG. I've been a horrible father. Even before we ever met, I was always heading down the wrong path. But... I finally understand it now. I love my family from the bottom of my heart. Both you and your mama. You're about to murder her. Me too. I love you with all my heart, Daddy. Let's go. Bye, Melvin. I I'm sorry. Candy. <laughs> so weird. Red tree. She just said red tree. <laughs> such a failure. I screwed it all up again. Your whole plan's been ruined. I'm sorry. But right up to the end, I, I could never do anything right. <laughs> oh. Really? So, it's all okay? Oh. Good. Well, just hold on then. Candy and I will be Right there. The worst father. Graced with the sweetest daughter. Life can be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> but it wasn't all bad.
Wait, so what else is gonna happen? Is this the end? I feel like there's still... A future play. Down at the jazz bar. Katrina brought that rain to us. And now I realize that at the very end, the sign. But she washed all that away. Every last trace. Jason. Here's Willie. That is Jason. Yeah. It totally was him in that little scene that we saw earlier. Hey, you finished episode three. Uh, yeah, you kind of just saw like the outline of him, but I was pretty sure that was him. So he, he's the one that came to the town and I guess gave Professor R like the red stuff. 